Former President Donald Trump was in Las Vegas over the weekend. He held a rally on Friday, and on Saturday, he met up with one of our own, Wayne Allen Root, for an interview that will be premiering tonight on Real America's Voice at 10 o'clock Eastern during the Root reaction. Here's a special sneak peek for you. Listen. By the proof of Zuckerberg, who confessed that he helped to rig the election. Well, in 2016, Hillary Clinton went around. She was furious. She said, why didn't you do this for me? Because it was a pretty close election. And she's saying why she was an angry woman. She's saying, why didn't you do this for me? Create some ballots. But they didn't call her angry like they call you. By the way, yeah, that's right. And, and, and <laughs> everybody else, every other Democrat. You know, I think 62 percent of the people in Congress and the Democrats in Congress said, and nobody ever calls them out. Right. I for anything. In uh, Georgia, you had the governor, right? Stacy, she was uh, saying it was rigged. It was this, it was that. Nobody calls them out. They only call me out. No, it's a very unfair system. It's a very corrupt system. It's a very bad system. You know, you need borders. We really don't have good borders. We, I had great borders. You know, my all-time favorite chart that I pulled down that day. With that saved your life. Flying bullet. Uh, but that it, it really saved my life. It was so you could say immigration saved my life if you think. No, I could say God saved your life. Well, I think that, too, because a lot of people are saying that and maybe uh, saved my life because they want to save this country. And save this country, we shall. Joining me now to discuss his interview with the former president and Republican presidential nominee, the host of Root Reaction, Wayne Allen Root. Wayne, nice to see you, my friend. How are you? Hey, Steve, I'm doing great. You know, it really wasn't an interview. It was a conversation because him and I are friends. We've had a great friendship since 2015, since he came down that escalator. This is my 16th interview with the 45th president of the United States. And when we do interviews, it's like two friends talking and we're having a great time. And I always make sure I, I smile and I connect with him and he connects back and smiles back. And it's not like other media. It's very different. He trusts me. And that's because I've been his biggest backer for about nine years now, almost a decade. Yeah, it is a conversation. That's the way uh, he is. And, you know, it's remarkable. And I want you to reflect on this a little bit. You know, they make him into a caricature, does the corporate media. They, they turn him into something he's not. But when you sit there and talk to him in person, I've done it, you've done it a bit more, but we've all been there. And he is he's locked on you. You're the only person in the room. He gives you his full attention. He's I mean, it's it's a personal conversation, isn't it? Well, yeah. And, you know, the debate was just last Tuesday night. And I had friends over for a debate watch party. And all of a sudden, my cell phone rings. And I look down, and it says 45. And I said to my friends sitting around me, you're not going to believe this. President Trump is calling. The debate had just ended seven minutes before. And Trump called me to ask how I thought he did. He's just a great guy. He's thoughtful. He's nice. He's cl a class act. Unlike any other politician I've ever interviewed, the classiest, nicest one out of all of them. I agree with that. Now, let's talk about what happened yesterday. Obviously, another shocking failure, or is it? Because at some point, you start to say, what's really going on? Uh, this guy, Ryan Routh, was apparently in the bushes along that fence for 12 hours. 12 hours, Wayne. He uh, brought a lunch. He brought uh, two backpacks with with, with ballistic tiles so that he could be protected from people shooting behind him. He had a GoPro camera because he thought he was going to film, you know, him murdering the former president. But for 12 hours, he was there. And then in the, in the press conference yesterday, well, he's not the actual sitting president, so we afford him. Basically, he's not important enough to get the coverage he needs, even though we just saw him get shot on July 13th. I mean, I am outraged. Americans are outraged, Wayne. It is people need to be fired. Come on. Well, it, it, it's disgusting. And by the way, I haven't had a chance to call him yet, but I'm going to. And I'm going to say, listen, it's time to admit the Secret Service can't protect you. You've got to hire private security. You've got to hire uh, Navy SEALs. You've got to hire retired uh, CIA or FBI or Navy SEALs or Army Rangers or Green Berets. You've got to go see Eric Prince who founded Blackwater and let him set up private security for you, or the private security backs up the Secret Service, use both. But you can't rely only on the Secret Service anymore. I'll, I'll let you in on something weird I was thinking about. I was standing in the bank an hour ago and this thought hit me and I tweeted it out on the spot. I said, do you realize there have been more assassination attempts on President Trump 
than interviews by Kamala Harris since she became the nominee. Trump is leading two to one. Twice they tried to kill him. She's only done one interview with a friendly CNN with uh, with Wolf sitting there holding her hand, tamp on Tim. It, it's incredible what's happened to this country, how anyone would consider voting for this unlikable, incompetent communist, radical communist who won't do a single interview with anyone but her best friend and her friend sitting next to her holding her little hand. It's incredible, Steve, against the guy who made America great again in four years and is poised to do it again. And before that, built skyscrapers in the New York skyline. He's an amazing human being. He's what we need to make this country great again. All right. So my question is, um, the real clear politics average, Wayne, I just want to ask you about Nevada. It's got Harris up 1.2. Now, I don't think that gets it done because, look, the polling, Donald Trump under polls two to four points across the country and, and more in some of the swing states. But to be fair, Donald Trump hasn't carried Nevada yet, if I'm not mistaken. What's Correct. it going to take to change it now? You do have a Republican governor. I think that helps a lot. What do you think? Well, let me talk national and Nevada. First of all, I follow three or four credible polls that I trust, and they all have Trump up nationally by a solid margin. Uh, last I looked, Rasmussen has him up six, which is a landslide and would be an electoral landslide. And uh, Democracy Institute, Patrick Basham, has him up four, but up five to seven in all the battleground states, including Nevada. Uh, there's another one whose name escapes me that has Trump up a solid 4.5 points. He's going to win this election. The question is whether to look like he won. Of course he's going to win, but will he win seven days after the election when they come out with the numbers? As Stalin said, it's not who votes that counts, it's who counts the votes. That's our problem in Nevada. I lived, Steve, yeah. in California for 15 years almost, and everyone I met was a liberal Democrat. Everyone. I lived in Malibu. Hollywood lived there. Everyone was a liberal. I live in Vegas. Everyone I meet is a Republican. I never meet a single Democrat here. It's a completely different state than a California or a New York or an Illinois. Yes. It's a Republican state, but we lose every election. They have, have written into the, the pie. It's, it's cemented because there's a Nevada Democrat Assembly and State Senate. And, and there's no voter right. ID. And there's uh, mail-in ballots to everyone, even if you don't ask for one. You never have to request it. It's same thing you. here, Wayne. Terrible. Yeah, same Terrible. thing here in Michigan. So same thing here elections. in Michigan. It's awful. Stealing yeah. elections. Anyhow. It should be a Trump state. They're stealing it. Should be. So should Michigan, where I'm staying, for all the same reasons you just outlined in Nevada. The, the two states that get beat up the most with a bad economy, yours and mine, every time. Anyhow, yep. don't forget to tune in tonight. The Root Reaction, right here in Real America's Voice, 10 o'clock Eastern. See the full exclusive interview. Wayne, thank you as always. Thanks, Steve. God bless.